Hello YouTube, this is Money in Phoenix from Project Phoenix Media. How are you guys doing today? Now this video is going to be on showing you how to improve your graphics on Watch Dogs. As we all know, Watch Dogs is a little bit of a disappointment in the graphics level compared to its E3 trailer. But using Sweet Effects and Radeon Pro, we're going to be increasing the graphics to make it look much, much better. All right, first things first, you need to download Radeon Pro. Uh, the link will be in the description as always. Just go ahead and download Radeon Pro. And we're going to be using this to use Sweet Effects. And Sweet Effects is just a shader that goes over the actual game. And the shader is a filter that adds different levels of color corrections, HBAO plus levels, and ambient occlusion to make a game look a lot nicer. Once you've downloaded Radeon Pro, just go ahead and install it wherever you want and launch it. And we'll just have it right here. Minimize ready to go. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the preset for Sweet Effects. Again, this link's also in the description. So go ahead and download it and extract the zip file anywhere you want, but make sure to keep note on where it is. I went ahead and made a sweet FX folder in my documents so uh, I know where it's at. Once we have done that, we're going to want to open up Radeon Pro. We're going to click on this little cog right here for the settings, and then go to sweet FX settings. You're going to want to enable sweet FX integration in the files. You're going to go ahead and click change and navigate to where you have your files at. Once you have that done, uh, you, I would recommend setting a hotkey so you're able to turn on sweet effects so you can really see the difference on what it's doing. I set it to scroll lock because it's a button that's hardly ever used in any game or any application really. So I went ahead and did that. Then you want to click save All right, and you should be good to go here. Next you're going to want to do is you're going to want to actually add a profile for your game. Just go ahead and click right here on the plus that says add new profile. Once you're there you want to navigate to your directory where you have your watchdogs game. In this case, if you're using Steam, it'd be uh, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Watchdogs, Bin, and here should be your EXE. Let's go ahead and double click that, and it should be launched right here. All right, so let's go ahead and add our preset for Watchdogs. You're going to want to navigate on these tabs right here to where it says Sweet Effects, Enable Sweet Effects, go down here to where it says Import Settings. Uh, you want to navigate to the folder where you uh, extracted all of your original Sweet Effects uh, folder. You want to click on Sweet Effects Settings. All right, it should automatically load all your settings right here, and you should be good to go there. Next, uh, don't close it yet. You're gonna to want to right-click Watchdogs and Apply Now. This makes sure that it saves all of your settings for Watchdogs. All right, and all you need to do is just uh, launch Watchdogs in game, and you should be ready to go. Uh, by default, Sweet FX will be turned on automatically. If it's not, just go ahead and press the key you binded it to. You should have a little prompt on the right side, and that will tell you whether it's on or not, and you can really see the difference. The following, you're about to see some game, some gameplay that I took in Watch Dogs with Sweet FX on and off, so you can really see the difference. And it's a bunch of scenarios going on, so that should be a lot of fun for you guys. Anyways, this has been Money in Phoenix from Project Phoenix Media, and have a good one.
Thank you.